if you'd like the biggest landlord in Cleveland to look over your deals, give you the pros and cons of every investment you make, well, guess what? You're in the right spot. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. Holton Wise TV, James Wise. Subscribe, like, share, follow. Hit us up, sales at holdenwise.com. Give us your number if you like what you're about to see. Because what you're about to see is the biggest scattered site, property manager, landlord, in the Cleveland market, cutting down the mystique of the real estate business for you, right? Now, can I sell you properties? Yes. Can I represent you as your broker? Yes. Can I be your property manager? Yes. Construction, insurance, title. Can do all that, but... Before I get into any of that for you on your behalf, what I like to do is give you a wide open look at what it is really like to be a real estate investor. The good, the bad, the ugly. I don't need to sell you a property. As a matter of fact, I charge you up front to talk to me, okay? Some people are like, dude, why don't I got to pay this guy up front? Any realtor will help me out for free. Look, motherfucker, think about it. Use your fucking think noodle here, your fucking brain. If you're talking to a, a fucking barber and you're like, hey, Bob the barber, do I need a haircut? Yeah, motherfucker, you need a haircut. Just like if you ask the guy who owns the pizza shop if it's uh, pizza's good for you or for pizza to be great right now. Yes, motherfucker, of course it would, right? If the person you're talking to is only way to make money off of you, the only way to feed their family is to sell you a property, what are they going to do? They're going to try to sell you a property. What I do, a little bit different, right? You talk to me about what you want. I give you my unbiased opinion on exactly uh, how that would play out, and I break things down and really like set you up, get your get your eyes wide open, right? And that's what I'm doing for my man Ted. Ted, we've been doing several properties together. You know, you had some ideas. I kind of talked you out of those ideas. I pushed you in this direction, sent you in this direction, and ultimately, it's your decision what you buy, what you spend your money on, right? You got forty thousand dollars. You're looking to stretch as far as you can. So I'm just trying to give you as much unbiased guidance as I possibly can. And uh, today, today I'm going to do a property for you, a nice duplex in my stopping grounds, old Brooklyn. That's where we got started. Uh, with our portfolio, and uh, I, I really like that particular neighborhood, and I think that deal uh, could work out pretty well for you. Uh, is it the perfect property? No, there's no, no such thing as a perfect property, so what we're going to do is uh, take a quick commercial break, and I'm going to get into my unbiased opinion on it. Hey, lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. Welcome back. Let's jump right into the property, okay? 2118 Mayview Avenue, Cleveland, 44109. Five days on the market, list price $99,000. We have two tenants already in here, both long-term tenants paying $650. As for the duplex, we don't have much to go off of, just a couple exterior photos, but... You are all in luck, right? You're in luck. I actually sold this property in, like, I want to say 2014. As I speak today, it's 2021. So we're talking, like, seven years ago, right? Sold this. Out-of-state investor, same person who currently owns it and has listed it for sale with his real estate agent, right? I sold this back seven-something years ago. And my team, we did a renovation on the property back then. Now, friggin'. Sold $200 million worth of this stuff, okay? So, you know, have thousands and thousands and thousands of properties. So, like, do I remember everything specifically? No. Uh, the one thing that does stick out of my head, though, is I remember there was, like, some big motherfucking, like, jacuzzi. Like, a big fucking freestanding jacuzzi that was, like, buried in the backyard under a bunch of shit. I remember uh, uh, that was, like, the first time we dealt with that. Uh, getting that motherfucker out of there. But outside of that, I'm assuming it was just, like, a pretty normal uh 
you know, duplex reno. It's a pretty classic duplex, right? It's got the two beds uh, on the side with the bathroom in the middle, uh, dining room, living room, kitchen in the back, right? I, I was physically in this property back then, right? That's uh, back in the day, the team was much smaller, right? So I was physically uh, touring some of these properties, right? So uh, other than that, I, I, I know we did the reno. I believe we did a roof, I'm guesstimating. Uh, so what you have here is a property that's uh, been pretty decently renovated within the last seven years. Now, as far as like what's happening right now, I don't recall if uh, those are the tenants uh, that we had placed way back then. They, the, the listing said they're longer term tenants. Uh, we managed it for like two years, right? I don't remember how many tenants we had in there at that time, if they were the originals or if we put a couple. But I do know back in the day, we were placing tenants in these type of properties at 750. However, we have since increased that and uh, where the market's at today, the rent is approximately 750. So what you can anticipate on the long haul from a property like this is 1500 a month, 18,000 a year. After your fixed and variable expenses, I anticipate you bringing home close to eight Gs. And what you need to do, you got to pay list. Ain't no way this property's getting sold for under list. I guarantee there's going to be multiple offers. So $99.9 will be the price. $24,975 should be what you put down. After all is said and done, this is looking like a long-term investment at 17% cash on cash return. Now, as far as the neighborhood goes, C-grade neighborhood, Old Brooklyn. I love this neighborhood. Great for cash paying tenants. Uh, great for Section 8. The current tenants, I don't know what they are. Again, you know, it's seven years since we sold this thing. Uh, we haven't worked with this particular investor in at least five years. I don't know how he's handling his management if he goes the Section 8 route, if he doesn't. Uh, but you do have two cash bank tenants in there at 650 currently, right? So if you were to run your numbers again based on the current rent, you, you know, more than welcome to do that, right? And I, I do get investors who talk to me about stuff like that on these like little properties, right? Single families, duplexes. And I do want to talk about that for a minute. I think it's, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's like, you should do it. I guess it's important, but like guys, eyes on the freaking prize here, right? Uh, there's an unlimited amount of variables at any point in time when you're owning rental properties, right? The charts and the, the projections, these are anticipated performance projections, but every tenant, is its own human being it's its own person right every tenant's got its own life their own life right so every property can go on its own trajectory right so what we do here is we give you an idea of what that investment on average should look like based upon our experiences running thousands of these suckers right so when i get these investors that are like Oh, well, that's the market rent. What if I run my projections based on, like, this particular rent? Guys, that is, like, a small fucking sliver uh, of the life cycle of your property, right? It's not really relevant, right? So whether the market rent, like, the market rent is what matters. That's what the thing's going to kick off over the long haul, right? If you, like, narrow down on one tiny point in the investment's life, what the fuck does that matter, right? Whether that current rent is lower than market or higher than market, neither are necessarily uh, indicators of what it should produce for you over the long haul. So if you're going to go into a property with a 30-year loan, right, what does any, you know, if you own it for 30 years, right, that's 360 months, what does any one, like, three-month or six-month period matter to the overall validity of your investment if you're going to own it for a course of 30 years. It's irrelevant. And I would tell you the same thing if somebody had said, hey, we put a tenant in here at 900. Who gives a fuck, dude? Because over the long haul, that's not the type of returns you should anticipate. Likewise, when someone, uh, you pick up a property from like a, a landlord who's renting a property below market rent, I tell you the same thing, right? So that's why when I run my projections, I typically do them for people based upon what the thing's going to kick off for the long haul because that is the best, most accurate way to give you an understanding of what it is you're buying. Because you could take any rental property in the world, you take its life cycle as an investment, and you could zoom in and narrow down on any one little two-month, three-month, four-month period and it could be wildly different no matter what, right? That could have been the little period where you put in a new furnace and you'd think, oh, you got to spend all this money. It could have been a period where things were running great. You have to look at these with a big picture mindset. So with all that said, 
99.9 for this one. Should kick off 15 hundo in rent. I anticipate a 17% cash on cash return, like I said, over the long haul. Multiple offers are anticipated. So if you're thinking about making an offer lower than list price, you're just wasting everybody's time, right? That's where we are in the market today, April, the end of April or beginning of May, whatever the hell day it is. This is the, yeah, it's the beginning of May, right? That's where the Cleveland market is right now. Absolutely no reason this property will sell for a dollar less than 99.9. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.